Good morning, everybody, and welcome to SGN, or in other words, welcome to Some Good News, a new segment that has a wide variety of good news to enlighten those who have not been having such a great day. I'm your anchor, Ben Ryan, and let's jump straight into some good news. Some of you know, last Friday, January 15th, the new Marvel movie slash show was first aired, WandaVision. I think something's wrong here. Wanda. Home. Then let's fight for it. WandaVision. WandaVision was just the lead up everyone has been looking forward to ever since the last Marvel movie, The Avengers Endgame. Everyone has been looking forward to seeing what Marvel was about to throw at us all next, but nobody expected this. WandaVision was announced as an entirely new thing, something that Marvel has never done or tried before in the history of their movie brands. They somehow still seem to shock the world on a daily basis. With the two episodes that aired on January 15th, there has been some more, some more spo mm, spoilers or theories headed into the new episodes. <laughs> I myself have my own beliefs of what I ha is happening but I'll let it be up to you, Marvel fans out there, to figure out what you think is going to happen next. I myself have my own beliefs of what is happening, but I'll let it be up to you, Marvel fans out there, to figure out what you think is going to happen next. Now to spread some more good news, here's an interesting story about how a blind man was able to see his wife and child for the first time ever using what is called a bionic eye. For the first time back in 2014, there was an invention called the bionic eye which helps provide artificial vision to visually impaired people. There are many different things that can allow those who are impaired to see. The man in this clip uses a pair of glasses from a company called Insight. You got it on there? Yes. Okay, now how does this, now, now how does this work? Come on well, over, buddy. Gina, what are you able to see? Well, <laughs> uh, wow, she's pretty. <laughs> oh, oh, she's so gorgeous. So many stories are very similar and are very happy and fulfilling. There are some stories about a man finally seeing the world for the first time in over 50 years. Now I don't know about all of you, but these heartwarming events are almost starting to make me cry. I hope you enjoyed this segment of our tearjerker for today. Speaking of heartwarming events, this next story hits a little too close to home. Prior to Christmas, the student council had raised over $2,000 for their annual toy drive. With the money they used, they decided to take Stuco officers shopping with them at Meyer. The money went straight to the kids here in West Jefferson District and made many families not worry as much as they usually do. And most importantly, it made the kids happy. Well, this is all for today on our new segment of SGN. I hope you all, all you people out there, have an amazing, great rest of your day, and thank you for tuning in. And as always, go Riders! Oh, are we going? <laughs> oh, I thought you did like the count, like. No, it's okay. No, so we're actually. Going. Oh, that's because it's closer. Yeah, but so good morning. Hey everyone. And welcome to the new Rough Riders version of SGN. SGN is a new show originally. This is not mine. <laughs> I, was I was reading it. I was like, um, I heard that from afar. Wait, this isn't mine. <laughs> I was like, that kind of looks like mine. Okay. <laughs>